find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Good morning guys and welcome into today's video Everyone's waiting on daddy You waiting on daddy? So from our family to yours We hope everyone's having a good day Mama's in here working up a shopping list Well we're out of Everything. Everything. In fact, I think this is the first time I've been out shopping in like a good two weeks, week and a half to two weeks. So, so two things I want to cover in today's video. One is I want to kind of give you a little bit more details on what we did with our Christmas decorations this year. We have upped our game just a little bit, purchased some stuff. The second thing that we're getting ready to really go do is Daddy is in need of a new phone. He's had it for five years and it's been doing good, but... He can't use it to take pictures or video, and he can't make a phone call on it because the microphone, like the actual microphone in it, is busted. So, yeah, I think it's just time for a new one. So, he's looking at getting like the iPhone 12 or 13 or something like I'm that. I'm in debate. Do I stick with iPhone or do I go with the Google phone? She's working with a Google Pixel 3. And I mean, it's still a pretty good phone. So, iPhone or Google Pixel. <coughs> We're going to find out here in a little bit after I upgrade. One thing this girl does not need this Christmas, but we'll take it anyways. But she really doesn't need Legos. So Santa Claus, do not, do not bring us Legos if you're watching our channel. With, with that said, let's get into today's video. That's a wrap on shopping here at Walmart. The cart is full, we have no more room. iPhone 13. For 200 bucks. For 200 bucks, which is pretty good. Because he got to trade his phone in and I didn't think an iPhone 7 was worth, like, what was it, 600 bucks? Uh, 800 bucks. I didn't think an iPhone 7 was worth that much. But I was proven wrong, that's okay. I debated looking at a new phone for me figure we'll just hold off for this point we didn't hold off because we're cheap though this is true but we held off because you we're can hear it in the back box. seat okay we got whiny kids and we're hungry yeah. the little things the sacrifices you make when you have children like do you want to sit here and torture the kids i'm not for gonna sit there hour? and torture the kids for another half hour no or are you so, okay with the phone you got go straight so i'm okay with the phone we got i have another screen protector that i'm gonna replace when we get home because the one I have is really cracked. So, um, and we are going to get Chick-fil-A. Guys, we are home. This table is just a disaster, but it's filled with a whole bunch of goodness. Transition into what we're doing here for the holidays as far as our decoration goes and kind of give you a walkthrough with our outdoor slash indoor decorations. So the iPhone 13 seems to be pretty impressive. It seems to be really good, so. But anyhow, let's get back on the Canon M50. Let's transition here. We're gonna go ahead and first talk about this Christmas tree that we have this year. Brand new Christmas tree. We used our old Christmas tree for five years before upgrading. I think we paid 20 bucks maybe 40 bucks for that Christmas tree. So this one's about a foot and a half, I believe, bigger. So yeah, let's check that out. So for the Christmas tree, we keep it very simple, very basic. It's, it's the Christmas tree itself, and then there's lights. And with the lights, let me show you here. With the lights, we just weave them in and out, the branches from front to back and the whole way around. So there's probably over 400 lights that I believe we have put on this tree and then for the ornaments they're just ornaments that over the years even back to me and Heather with our childhood so that's 1995 right there we have just that's our ornaments it's stuff that we have got and collected as children ourselves. it's 
our children collecting their ornaments now. And that's what we fill our Christmas tree with from year to year. Today, while we were out shopping, we went ahead and we picked up this angel topper for the tree right here. Heather, her parents love putting white lights in her Christmas tree. So when it comes to our Christmas tree, Heather wants nothing to do with white lights. So that's really the only reason we do the color lights. here on our projector shelf we just hang some ornaments as well keeping it very simple inside here manger scene serenity loves playing with it and then across our entertainment center here we have just some green lights with the garland in the hallway here i got very simple really lazy as far as the orange lights in the hallway here they are transitioning from uh thanksgiving and i was like well they blend in and it's it's hard to put lights up around our sign, which came from my Uncle Bob and Aunt Lori. So I just, I was like, we're gonna stick with the orange lights and leave them here with the color lights going up the stairwell. Very simple, but that's really, that covers what's on the inside of the house. take pride in getting the outdoor Christmas lights done. I love doing it. I always start early with it. I try to do it while the sun is shining. We love the front porch. You mm. want to talk about the front porch? I like the front porch. The front porch is, we got garland th this year and did the front porch. Put some green lights in there. He also got some little like, I don't want to call them trees. They're more like little small pine tree looking bushes. And we hung red and gold bulbs in there to match what we had on the wreath um, and Serenity got to help with that and it was actually kind of cool so we upgraded that and it looks really elegant and very Victorian kind of deal because um, that's what they did a lot in Victorian times they did wreaths and they did evergreen and they did red and gold um, we do have on the back deck we have wreaths we have lights galore out the out on the back we have the star hanging on the shed. We have red and white lights on the roof, but we've also, we did put some green up there, didn't we? Yeah, we or have. You, you put some green up there. I was trying to emphasize this year on adding more green into it because we had green at the doorway, but to emphasize the green, what we did mm -hmm. is up on the rooftop. So let's chat rooftop real quick. We have what are known as C7 mm. light Good bulbs. bulbs. The, the, big, the, the big good ones. ones. Eventually, I want to switch it to LED. Eventually. The, I'm really partial to the C7s. I'm partial to the C9s as well, but we don't have... Do we have any gotta, C9s left? You got to buy the really good ones. Yeah. The one that screw in and the ones that are, in LED terms, ones that are at least one watt of power. Yeah. That way, you're still getting that illumination. So... But baby crying please pause and anytime so. anytime a c7 bulb goes out my ocd <laughs> kicks <laughs> in and i'm out the window the next day to put a nice new <laughs> bulb in that's very basic out front we have the star in the front window we, through the landscape we put a couple signs up yeah. the signs and then we also i purchased a yeah. and i'm not a fan of this projector light but it i mean the red and green definitely stick out but the white in the sign isn't quite as vibrant as but I would serenity it likes be. it we got but one of those little projector things that you stick on the in the ground and then project it on the side of your house or whatever and serenity really likes it i think that's the big reason for it you know so we just he bought it and said we'll try it out and stuff so it's just a season's greetings and it's that's in white and then there's red and green things that float around on it and it is actually really cool it does work I, I would keep my Christmas lights up all year long I mean quite literally my family we had our lights on our house from I think uh, no we had our lights on in our house from December 
They went up after Thanksgiving as soon as we got the first snow. So December through like July, our Christmas lights were on our house, okay? Did we take stuff down? Yeah, we'll take down snowmen or we'll take down maybe some of the angels and things like that. But we had our lights on all year round. So guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. We just, we love this time of year. We love just decorating out the house and just uh, sharing the love of Christmas, if that's a thing. I and <laughs> it is now. So let us know what you think in the comments below. You have dry skin in your ear and it's irking me. We're gonna have to fix that. Uh, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click subscribe for more videos to come and click like on the like button. Click the like button. Click like on the uh -huh. like button, huh? Yeah, and guys, Ollie, his mommy's silly. Until next time, we'll catch <gasps> you in bye. our next video. Bye. Bye. bye.